guys. On this episode of Days of Shopworks, I'm going to show you how even a seasoned engine builder can screw up. <laughs> Stay tuned. So it all started back, uh, oh, in the fall, I guess. John and I decided we'd build this uh, hot little 360. It's now the spring, and here she is. Uh, you guys have followed along the build. Uh, we've done our oil system mods, which I covered. Um, we checked the cylinder bore, measured everything, uh, deglazed the balls, got everything looking really good. Put in the timing chain tensioner, cam, crank, everything, you saw all the assembly, and then we ran into a snag. So I was not there for piston um, selection went off kind of what I was telling him to do and he picked the pistons and they would work great if we were running open chamber heads but these aluminum speedmasters they're a nice tight 63 cc chamber 64 cc chamber and they're a closed chamber so what ends up happening is you can see our dome on our piston which doesn't look huge but it's too tall so we tried many things. If you take a look here, you see this thick spacer? That's actually a 120 thou thick head gasket. And since they stick up approximately an eighth of an inch, that would be fine. Except with today's current uh, issues with getting parts, we found that we're not going to be able to get pistons, or sorry, push rods 120 thou longer and I'm not about to start cutting push rods and trying to make something work. That's just a recipe for disaster for what this engine's going to see. So long story short, the only thing we can do is mill the pistons down. So I'm going to measure the pistons, uh, the deck protrusion basically, and I'm going to come up with a number so many thousandths of an inch to machine off. And once we get that, i got to strip out all eight pistons strip them off the rods which spiral locks can be painful sometimes they come out good they can be painful but uh, yeah then box up the pistons put the rings back in each specific hole because we already gapped them for each hole and then we are going to uh, get the tops of the pistons milled off I have a machinist that's ready to do it it's just a matter of getting the pistons over to them and let them have at her so minor setback but just bear in mind, I have built many engines, some stock, some mild, some wild, and uh, every once in a while a fella gets caught on the details, and this is just one of those times. So, without no further ado, I'll measure up these uh, deck heights, and then we'll uh, see what we can come up with. So we are at 78 thou above deck height, which is better than the uh, 125 thou I thought it was going to be. Well, now to do a little bit of measurement calculation and check out what I have for clearance, and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so I've done my measurements and I did my calculation. What we're looking at is we want a minimum of 50 thousandths of an inch clearance between the cylinder head and the top of the piston. So I remeasured this a few times just to make sure. I measured it near the center of where the piston pin sits. 
and I come up with 76 thou and I repeated that several times so I'm accurate at 76 thou. There is piston rock that you do have to kind of pay attention to but uh, that's why the 50 thou clearance between the top of the piston and the cylinder head. So to do that we're at 76 thou right now. Then you take into consideration the cylinder head gasket which is uh, an advertised crush of 43 thou. Take that away and you've got 33 thou still protruding. That's way too much. But if we only take off the 33 thou then we'll have zero clearance between head and piston. So to get 50 we have to take the full 76 that'll bring us down to zero deck height then we add the 43 thou head gasket and we're still 7 thou shy. So we have to mill 83 thousandths of an inch off of this. So in a nutshell, bit of a screw up. Definitely going to set us back another week on getting this engine together. But my machinist will do a quick turnaround for us. And lesson learned, always go over your parts a little more thoroughly. Uh, especially when it's two people building it from different sections of town. Uh, I should have known better, but hey, sometimes you're just busy and you miss a few details. But it's not unsurmountable. We can fix it. And that's what we're going to do. So next time you see the engine, we'll have the pistons machined. And we'll have it reassembled. I'm not going to put you through reassembling the short block again. And we will go through, do our clearance check. And everything should be just money. Alright guys. From Dave at Days of Glory Shopworks, I really appreciate your uh, time and watching the videos, and thank you very much. Have a good night.